Hello, I'm Jonathan Sargent, Sales Manager with Royal Irish Tours, Canada's leading tour operator selling Ireland, England, Scotland and Wales. Irish and Scottish roots run deep within our company and we're proud to be Canada's largest tour operator selling Ireland and the UK. Our owner, Ian Duffy, born and raised in Ireland, moved here 30 years ago and set up roots in Richmond Hill, just north of Toronto, and set up Royal Irish Tours. We do coach tours, maximum 38 guests on a 45-seater coach, taking you to some of the hidden gems and iconic experiences in Ireland and the UK. Driving holidays, if you want to get off the beaten track and really immerse yourself in the culture as you travel through the beautiful destinations. We do tours by train. We do chauffeur drive options and some wonderful castle and manor stays as well. And you get the opportunity to meet lots of locals as you go. And that's really what Ireland and the UK is all about. Lots of wonderful foodie experiences. And of course, whiskey and Guinness, of course, are very popular too. So we really do uh, hope to see many of you in Ireland and the UK soon. Uh, visit our website, ratvacations.com to get more information about our tours or contact Kate and Travel to book your dream vacation to Ireland or the UK. It's the Kate and Travel Show on the Travel Channel on TVU with your host, Wendy Sung. How are you doing, Wendy? Doing great again. How about you, James? Very well, very well. Another exciting show. What's on the go? Yes, we're, we're very excited to have uh, Irish, uh, Roy Irish Tour with us. And we have Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Wendy and James. Thanks for having me on. Jonathan Sargent, sales manager here for Royal Irish Tours. And I'm very happy to be on the show with you today. Yes, for sure. Thank you for taking your time to be with us today. I am really excited to kind of showcase what you had to share with us today. So, Jonathan, uh, tell us how things have been and love to hear a little bit more about uh, what's, what's new uh, with uh, your tour company. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, um, different times we have at the moment. So, uh, of course, um, we've been moving a lot of people to later dates in the year and next year. So we really are now looking forward to 2021. But in terms of the situation in Ireland and the UK, um, it really has been improving. Uh, in recent weeks and months. Um, as of this week, as of uh, the start of July, um, the borders are a little more open for EU, for Canadian visitors, and the quarantine restrictions in Ireland is likely to be lifted in the next week or two, so there will be a decision on that, as long as cases continue to go down. And, you know, really, they are working very hard and diligently to make sure everyone is safe when they do go there. So we're really looking forward to 2021 now. And obviously anyone who books a tour for 2021 um, would, with you would get the same rate as 2020 for early bookings. We're really trying to honor that to, you know, get the loyalty and make sure people, um, you know, are safe, find it safe to travel next year to Ireland and the UK. Excellent. Yeah. And Jonathan, please tell, tell me about your role with um, Roy Irish Tour. Yeah. So uh, my role is the sales manager um, with Royal Irish Tours. We're also known as RIT Vacations, um, in case anyone's seen RIT or heard us being called that. Um, so I'm the sales manager. So my role is really to work with the travel professionals like yourself and um, throughout Canada and promote our beautiful countries of Ireland, England, Scotland and Wales. I myself am from Dublin, born and raised, um, so I have a lot of pride in selling Royal Irish Tours and all we offer. And we are owned by an Irishman, Ian Duffy, so we're a family-owned and operated company, but we are Canadian, so a lot of people don't know that. We're only selling to Canadians. Uh, our owner, Ian Duffy, fell in love with a Canadian, moved here 30 years ago and set up roots in Richmond Hill, just north of Toronto. Next year, we'll be celebrating our 20th year in business, and we are the largest tour operator. Uh, selling Ireland and the UK in Canada. So, and that's all we sell. So we really are experts in those destinations. Excellent. Love to hear what you have to say today. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I can just go through and tell you a bit about our company and then feel free to interrupt me whenever you like um, if you have any questions or anything. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Perfect. Well, thanks again for having me. And I know I mentioned just a bit about the COVID uh, piece. Uh, Ireland, the tourist board um, of Ireland just sent an email out um, to all the tour operators today uh, and all companies in Ireland are going to have um, a safety charter or COVID safe 
logo that they'll be able to put on their website and attach to their companies. And so people know they're adhering to all the safety protocols necessary um, to ensure it's safe for everyone traveling next year. We're hoping something similar will come uh, up for the UK, but as of now, you know, Ireland really do, um, I'd say they're a leader when it comes to the tourism and kind of doing this kind of thing. So they've been very proactive in ensuring, um, you know, tourism is a big part of uh, the economy in Ireland. It employs 250,000 people um, and is a huge part of our economy. And they really realize the value. We love having people visit our beautiful island. And um, so everyone's making sure they are COVID safe. Uh, in terms of why people want to go to Ireland, uh, and the UK, often it's the iconic scenery. So they say we have 40 shades of green. So no matter where you go in the country, you'll see rolling hills, green grass, and you'll meet lots of friendly locals along the way. One thing that people often don't associate with Ireland and the UK is good food. I always say it's not the reason people go, but it's often the reason they want to come back. The food really is exceptional. Uh, obviously being an island, lots of wonderful seafood options, but there really is a pride on farm to fork. So locally sourced ingredients, for example, some of the hotels we work with in Northern Ireland have a little booklet at breakfast, which will tell you where your eggs came from that morning, the farmer who the, we got the bacon from, etc. So there really is that pride on local produce, uh, lots of wonderful artisan cheeses and butters and things. Obviously, we don't get snow like you get, uh, especially in Alberta. Um, so animals are out grazing on the grass 12 months a year. So it results in really tender meat and some really wonderful dairy products as well. And of course, everyone knows our beverages as well. The likes of Guinness and Jameson are famous world round. But now there's been a real resurgence in, you know, craft breweries and wonderful gin distilleries and things. So you go to any sort of local hotel or pub and you'll see a gin or a whiskey on the menu that you've never heard of. That's probably sourced from you know, very local, very locally, maybe five or 10 minutes away. So that's a really nice touch as well. Of course, I was talking to James briefly before about some of the wonderful music Ireland has to offer. So that's another highlight of Ireland, really experiencing the pubs. And um, we always like to include Irish entertainment evenings. But if you go into any pub in any of the small towns, you'll often see live traditional music. And they're always encouraging um, visitors to get involved, sing along, give your request, but it really is a wonderful ambiance and I really do recommend that when you're in Ireland or the UK, go to a live music session. You'll often see them on the street as well, uh, especially in the summer. So you'll see buskers and people will be joining in to sing and dance. So a really nice touch when you're there. In ter terms of what Royal Irish Tours, RIT Vacation Cell, escorted coach tours are the main part of our business. So that would be maximum 38 guests on a 45 seater coach. As of next year, we're likely to lower the number to 26 or 30 on a 50-seater coach, just you know, to ensure social distancing and things are maintained. Our sightseeing tours is another very popular way to travel, so that's a maximum of 16 guests. So again, those smaller group touring are become very popular and tend to take more off the beaten track trips. Uh, we do tours by train if your clients want to travel by train. A um, really nice way to travel if any visitors want to, you know, see some of the wonderful countryside but don't want the hassle of driving or don't want to do a full coach tour. I always say if you're comfortable driving on the left, though, that's the best way to really get out and about to see Ireland, England, Scotland and Wales. I know it's not for everyone, but I find, you know, you're sitting on the other side of the car. Uh, and it's not as hard uh, as people think. The, pe the thing that confuses Canadians the most is the roundabouts, because uh, I know roundabouts aren't, aren't as popular in Canada, but we love roundabouts in Ireland and the UK. So uh, once you get used to them, uh, you're on the right track in Ireland or the UK. Um, in terms of if you're not comfortable driving on the left, but still want to do your own private thing, a chauffeur drive is a wonderful option. So that's basically your own personal driver guide with you for the duration of the trip. You can ask him or her any questions you have. You can sit down on day one or even sometimes contact them in advance to discuss your itinerary, things you really want to do. So your accommodation will be pre-booked and kind of you go as you please day by day. And, um, you know, the chauffeur driver can show you lots of hidden gems or bring you to the places you want to go, depending on um, how much you want to pre-plan, etc. So a really nice way to do it. 
Uh, and city stays are also very popular in the likes of Edinburgh, Glasgow, in Scotland. Uh, we do some lovely London packages as well as Dublin and Cardiff. So I didn't really talk too much about uh, the UK there, but Wales is one of my favourite destinations now and, and really a growing destination. It doesn't get quite as many tourists as the likes of Scotland or Ireland, um, but it really is a hidden gem uh, kind of tucked between Ireland and England and a really a must visit if you're, if you're able to get over to Ireland and the UK at some stage. Uh, what we always say sets us apart is our staff most have been with us 10 plus years. Um, Joe O'Connor is one of our most famous drivers. We actually have three Joes working for us. So people always come back raving about how wonderful Joe was. Uh, there's a good chance they were talking about Joe O'Connor. He's been with us for 20 years um, and they really do make the trip. A lot of them are retired school teachers or historians and they have such a wealth of information and always lots of great jokes and et cetera along the way, but they really look after all your needs um, when you're on tour. We do tend to have more inclusions than a lot of other tour operators as well. So most of your evening meals, all your breakfasts uh, would be included within the price you're paying um, through Kate and Travel. So um, that's nice as well. You don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, just in terms of the size of Ireland and the UK as well, obviously Alberta and Canada are absolutely huge. You'd fit Ireland, I believe. I learned this in geography in school. You'd fit 120 Irelands inside Canada. So that just shows how small it is. So to give you an idea, it's about a three and a half hour drive east to west, the full width of Ireland, and about nine hours from north to south. So really in a 10 day, two week vacation, you can see quite a lot of the country. Similar size um, would be Scotland, Wales would be a little smaller and England a little larger. So in three weeks, you could really see the whole British and Irish Isles uh, and really have a wonderful experience and get a real feel for the country. Um, we do a variety of coach tours and different lengths, but I always recommend our two-week Shamrock Royal if you really want to get in-depth into Ireland. If you're going once and once only, I always recommend a two-week tour. It's kind of a bucket list trip taking in many of the hot spots. We try to do two and three night stays on these tours wherever possible. Um, so you really get a great feel for the destination and lots of free time in some of the cities and quaint little villages along the way. We have a few different uh, types of tours but our deluxe manor royal coach tour is a slightly higher end one so the majority of our tours would all be four star accommodation but our manor royal would then be mostly five stars with two nights in a beautiful castle and um, so both really nice options but my favorite trip that we do is our emerald adventure which is a driving holiday one night in a beautiful irish castle uh, then four nights bed and breakfast so staying with you know families as you go and really go off the beaten track go to some wonderful destination and then they and then drop the car back and stay two nights in dublin city center in a lovely four-star hotel so a really nice way to get a feel for everything but of course if you want to stay in all bed and breakfast that's possible if you want to stay in a few castles manor houses that's also possible so i really do recommend doing a nice mix but anything can be customized of course through Cape and travel. My favorite place in Ireland and the UK is Donegal. I'm a little biased because my mother is from there and um, but they have some of the highest sea cliffs in Europe, sea, uh, Sleeve League cliffs seen in the background there uh, for anyone viewing this. Um, absolutely uh, beautiful stunning views and really off the beaten track place and I feel Donegal and places are going to become more popular as social distancing continues to be a thing. Uh, as you know, you really have almost the county to yourself. It's one of the biggest counties and it's the least most populated. Um, but there's some wonderful hotels, bed and breakfasts and castles uh, along the way as well. Then in Scotland, we of course have lots of wonderful itineraries. Our smaller sightseeing tours are a great option. If you want to go further north to the like of the Orkneys or the Isle of Lewis or the Outer or Inner Hebrides, um, but our Scottish Royal is a lovely eight-day, seven-night itinerary and a lovely introduction to Scotland. Um, if you've never been before, two nights in Glasgow and Edinburgh and two in Inverness. But again, Scotland is wonderful to see by a driving holiday if you are comfortable driving on the left to really get off the beaten track and out and about. Similarly, in England and Wales, I always recommend the driving holiday is a good option. But we have some lovely coach tour and smaller sightseeing tour options in there as well. Tours by train, I touched on briefly, um, but you can really, again, get to more off the beaten track places. There's not a huge, extensive rail network in Ireland, but Scotland, there's a fantastic rail network, so a really nice option. And um, we even use the Jacobite steam train on some of our tours. And um, it's like traveling back on time. Any Harry Potter fans, uh, the Hogwarts Express, it's a very similar train to what you would see on that. 
Um, so yeah, lots of really wonderful options when you're in Ireland and the UK. In terms of vehicle size, if you are driving, there's lots of different sizes. You can get a small one, medium size, large, but anything can be customized. Um, most of the itineraries we have listed are just ideas, unless it's the coach tours where they're preset itineraries. Um, but really by working with a travel agent such as Kate and Travel, you can really tailor anything you want and kind of make that perfect trip in Ireland and the UK. There's often lots of frequently asked questions about weather and things. So I always right. say spring or fall are lovely times to go, about 15 to 20 degrees by day and about 10 to 15 at night. In the summer, it can get up to 25. We don't really get very warm in Ireland. Um, people don't normally visit Ireland for the weather, but it's absolutely stunning when you do get the nice weather. And there's actually two currencies on the island of Ireland as well. Um, so we have the euro in the Republic of Ireland and in Northern Ireland they use the British sterling and of course the UK uses the British sterling. Um, so yeah, that's just a kind of a quick overview of um, some of what Royal Irish Tours do um, and hopefully I've inspired you a little to think about Ireland and the UK in 2021. Oh my gosh, you've done more than just inspired us. I feel like, like I, yeah, the green just catches me up. Actually, the question I was going to ask you, is there a good time to visit uh, Ireland? Like some, some people get the notion that it always rains all the time. I'm, yeah, like yeah. is there high season, low season, raining season to avoid? Well, I mean, low season would, would be the winter, but there really is um, fantastic things to do in each different um, season. So I always say spring's a lovely time to go because you get the flowers in bloom. Um, which is absolutely fantastic, beautiful, beautiful flowers and things. You go in the summer, uh, you get all the country homes and manors there are open. It's a really nice option. If you have any golfers, that's a lovely time to go as well. And then in the fall, you get kind of changing of the season. So you can probably get better value in terms of the cost in April, May or September, October. And um, September and May are actually our most popular months. And July and August would be high season just because you have all the kids off school and that's where we get a lot of tourists. But there's no, no best time to visit. Uh, I would say spring or fall, though, would be my, my preference. Perfect. And do people, people go there for the beach? Or is, I uh, assume it's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold, but it's actually really nice to go for a walk on the beach. So a lot of people will live in small seaside towns and they'll go walk their dog on the beach uh, every morning. Some stunning white sandy beaches. The water is a little chilly, though. You have the Atlantic Ocean or the Irish Sea. And um, so some people think it's a bit cold for them, but I'm more than happy to go into the water whenever I'm there. And if you do get a nice day, 20, 25 degrees at the beach, there's no better place to be than on the beach. That sounds great. Um, I guess uh, if people want to find out more about your, uh, your site, I think the website is, is it on the, uh, is it www.rit.com? Yeah. Yeah, ritvacations.com is our website. Um, so you'll get lots of information and ideas about the tours. But of course, if you are thinking about um, booking a tour to Ireland or the UK, make sure you get in touch with uh, Kate and Travel and Wendy. Um, it really is so important to use a travel agent, especially in these unprecedented times. Um, they're basically, they offer so much value. It's the same price as going direct to a tour operator or booking online and you have a real person you're dealing with and they can really look after all your needs. You know, I've talked to so many travel agents who've spent hours or days on hold to airlines and, and trying to change trips for clients during these times. And so it's so important that, you know, people realize the value of travel agents and make sure they use them going forward. Thank you so much for that, Jonathan. And of course, being able to connect with you uh, if we need anything directly, uh, that's another plus for us with the relationship that we build. Um, so with, with that said, um, you know what? You've done such a great job for, for us and we have to go there soon. I, I think for most people, um, Ireland, people think of St. Patrick's Day. And I also learned, uh, correct me if I'm incorrect here, uh, Halloween was originated from Ireland, uh, I believe. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? In, in County Me, there's the Celtic Festival of Samhain. And you know, uh, carving, carving pumpkins is a popular thing in North America. They actually used to carve turnips uh, oh. in Ireland because, you know, we didn't really have pumpkins. So when it came to North America, it was kind of evolved to become about pumpkins. Um, but yeah, dressing up was related to some Celtic mythology and things. So a lot of very interesting history. And you'll learn a lot of this from, from people you meet in Ireland as well. So, yeah. 
Right. Let, let's not forget about lot like Lock that monster and uh, the movie fans. So yeah, lots of things to do. I mean, it's a uh, oh. it's never a dull moment. Moment. Let's let's just say when you visit uh, Ireland and Wales and the the areas around there. Absolutely. Yeah, and we're so grateful for you know all the people who are still considering and thinking about going in the future. The people in Ireland, Scotland, England, and Wales are so welcoming for yes, tourists, true. especially from Canada. And uh, we look forward to seeing many of you in Ireland and the UK soon. For sure. Sounds good. Thank you so much again um, for, for joining us. Uh, if we can have you back again in the near future, uh, we'd love to uh, invite you again, Jonathan. Absolutely. I'd be delighted to come back. And thank you to everyone for listening. And thank you to James and, of course, to you, Wendy. Thank you. And James, I guess you have any questions for us, please let us know. Well, it is, uh, it's that time that, you know, it's the same thing that everybody says all the time. It goes by so quickly. And it's been the Kate and Travel Show on the Travel Channel on TVU. Hello, I'm Jonathan Sargent, sales manager with Royal Irish Tours, Canada's leading tour operator selling Ireland, England, Scotland and Wales. Irish and Scottish roots run deep within our company and we're proud to be Canada's largest tour operator selling Ireland and the UK. Our owner, Ian Duffy, born and raised in Ireland, moved here 30 years ago and set up roots in Richmond Hill, just north of Toronto, and set up Royal Irish Tours. We do coach tours, maximum 38 guests on a 45-seater coach, taking you to some of the hidden gems and iconic experiences in Ireland and the UK. Driving holidays if you want to get off the beaten track and really immerse yourself in the culture as you travel through the beautiful destinations. We do tours by train. We do chauffeur drive options and some wonderful castle and manor stays as well. And you get the opportunity to meet lots of locals as you go. And that's really what Ireland and the UK is all about. Lots of wonderful foodie experiences. And of course, whiskey and Guinness, of course, are very popular too. So we really do uh, hope to see many of you in Ireland and the UK soon. Uh, visit our website, ratvacations.com to get more information about our tours or contact Kate and Travel to book your dream vacation to Ireland or the UK.